Welcome to Sandra Sensations. Thanks for stopping in. I'm going to be doing a reverse dip, two canvases. I'm going to do it start to finish because I usually have my acrylic already on the canvas before I start, but I'm going to do it right from the very beginning of everything that I do. This is an 8x8 canvas. There's two of them here, and it's the Artist Loft Gallery Wrapped 8x8 canvas. That's what I'm using. And all of my paints that I'm using are Artezas, which are these guys behind me here. I have Amazon links to all of my supplies that I use in the description. If you decide you want to do a little bit of shopping and get yourself some paints or any of the tools that you see me use, by all means hit one of my links. If you choose to shop, I will get a small percentage on a gift card that will be sent to me from Amazon for me to replenish some of my stock. So feel free to shop you guys. Alright, if you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And all the comments, all the thumbs up, and all of my regulars, regulars that keep coming back to watch. Thank you so much, you guys. It means the world to me. You have no idea how much it makes my day when I get comments and stuff like that. When I get home from work from a busy day, and I get to read all of that, it's just awesome. Warms my heart. So again, thank you, everybody. Okay. So my reverse dip, I want to do probably some blues up top. I always like to do things a little differently. A little bit of blues up top, then some coloring and a white bottom. Then I'm going to put them together and see what we get. That's my plan. So I'm going to do for the top section a little bit of white first. Actually, you know what? I'll do white all over the whole canvas. Both of them. Just a light coating because there's going to be more color going down. And this is what I usually do prepped before you guys are even watching the video. So this is just going to be a quick little... And you would not believe what I'm using for a spatula here. Anybody ever shop with Pampered Chef? <laughs> I have a Pampered Chef spatula. It's probably a $20 spatula that I'm using for paint. Well, I don't use it for cooking, so I might as well use it for something. I don't know if any of you from the UK or the States, I'm sure Pampered Chef is in the States, but oh my goodness. Pampered Chef is really nice, expensive cooking tools. And I probably bought this at a friend's party because I wanted to support, support her in her being a hostess and never used it so I have it for painting and here I am yakking your ears off again sorry you guys I always do that one thing's for sure it's never really dull around here I always keep things interesting and I'm sure at the end of this video there will be another video pop up it'll be one of my favorites I hope you stick around and watch that one too because it's usually a lot of fun. Okay, I'm not going to worry about my sides so much right now because I want to get this reverse dip happening. Okay, so there's the first color down. Oh, just filled up my new butane torch and it got a little overfilled so don't worry I got water close by in case I burn anything down okay so there's my white acrylics down I'm gonna take some of my phthalo blue which I think I'm just gonna get a stir stick to put this down I want to have some blue up top One more swipe of blue. That should be good. Now I'm going to put a little bit of my um, turquoise blue. 
Okay, that's good. Now for the colors in the center. Let's go with some dioxidine purple. Yep, dioxazine purple. And the Arteza Pale Mauve. We gotta definitely go with some fluorescent pink. Gonna do a little bit of red, which this one is the scarlet red. I don't know why, but for some reason when I do red, I get it everywhere. Okay, put that lid back on there. Okay, now I want to add some greens. And I think I'm just going to go with squiggly. Who knows? Who knows how this is going to turn out? Phalo blue, not phalo blue, phalo green. I'm really not colorblind. And a little bit of yellow. Now one thing I'll let you in on a secret. I went and bought myself a new dustpan. I already got paint on it in the inside. Haven't used it yet. There's these new guys, Massey Art Studio, they're a new channel, they're doing amazing in numbers. I tease them in a comment, I'm in a little rowboat with tiny paddles, <laughs> they're in a cruise ship cruising on by me going, don't worry Sandra, you'll catch up eventually. They're just, they're really fun to watch. If you haven't seen Massey Art Studios, you got to check them out. They're hilarious. And you never know, because I gave them a little shout out, maybe they'll do the same for me. I, it doesn't matter. I'm only doing it because I think they're hilarious to watch and they do a shovel dustpan kind of painting that cracks me up. So I really want to try it. So in a future video, I will be using this guy to see how it does. Alrighty. Okay, so I've got my colors down. Now it's time to flip the canvas, press down, and hope that I get myself a masterpiece. Okay, I'm going to take this guy and flip it over. I'm going to move it over this way some. And I'm going to press down. Now, if any of you have watched Fiona, she does this, and they always turn out beautiful. Mine are not as good as hers, but I keep trying. And I thought maybe this time if I use a really good quality gallery wrapped $20 canvases, maybe it'll change my luck. Because I usually use the value pack canvases because I do a lot of painting every day. I put as many videos up as I can. I think I almost have the same amount of videos. Actually maybe not quite. I think I'm at 168 subscribers. Maybe after this video I'll be at 170. Not thousands, we're talking 170. And I think I have 146 videos. So is that bad? Videos beating subscribers? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the rule is, but uh, it's definitely interesting to watch the numbers. And I see the Massey Art Studios. These guys are just unbelievable. Their numbers are, I don't know what they're doing that I'm not doing, but they, I guess they're, they're liked more than me. I don't know. Okay, my colors are down. I'm going to pick this guy up. I've seen Fiona pick hers up. So let's see if it gives me any luck. And then we're supposed to slowly pull it apart. Whoa! That looks really cool. 
except it's a bunch of lines. It's not flowers like I would want. <laughs> What's going on here? <clears throat> like it looks really cool, but I have to fix the center because it's lose. It's lost. It's uh, oomph. Same with this one. Okay. Sandy's gonna get some more paint happening. Love the blues. Yeah, even if I turn it another way, it's not gonna change anything. That's how it is. Okay. Let me see. I want some more hot pinks in there. Definitely want some red. And I don't know, should I do each individual? Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to do each individual painting with some red and some white. Okay, I'm going to get my little air compressor. It's an airbrush. I call it my little air compressor. The best $60 I ever spent on Amazon. Let's blow out the flower here, hopefully. Okay, there's one. I guess I should do this one, too. Okay, now which other color do I want to do? I'm going to do the dioxazine purple. And I think I'm going to go with the turquoise blue. With a little bit of white. See how this one does. Okay, I'll put this over here. So now I'm going to get some of my phthalo green. I'm just going to put it on my table here a little bit with my pale green. And again, all of these are Arteza colors, so they always show up so nice and bright. Just awesome. I'm just going to take my stick, get both greens up, and pull this one down, and pull this one down, and get this one going. Greg's going to tease me again because here I am talking to myself. But I'm not. I'm talking to my audience. I keep telling them that. But he definitely still likes to tease me. Okay. You know what I just did too? I just did that whole painting with all my glasses on. I keep doing that all the time. See, I told you, I always keep it interesting around here.
All right, now I want to blow out a little bit of this center area that I'm not sure what's going on here. Let me just blow some of it and see if I can make any sense to that at all. Need some color in there. Let's go with, hmm, I'm going to go with the purple. And the move. Okay, let's see if I have enough green here to also give this a little oomph. Okay, I am totally happy with those. Let's give them a quick little torch. Hopefully I don't burn them. And there we have two reverse dip flowers. There we go, in a matter of about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes at the most. There we go, two paintings in about 15 minutes. All right, everybody. Thanks very much for watching. Remember, hit subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. Share your video on Facebook. Your video, sorry, my video on Facebook. I would love you for it. And again, if you want to shop, hit one of my links below in the descriptions and hit the card video that's showing up in the corner right now and watch that video. Thanks very much, everyone.